early years the future world supermodel was born on July 1, 1970 in Vlerdingen, Netherlands. Her family consisted of her parents and younger sister, who later became a famous actress. Although both daughters connected their lives with creativity, her parents had nothing to do with it. Dad conducted tax inspections, and mom was an ordinary secretary. In her early years, the young beauty loved going out to sea, so she planned to tie her life to sailing. But fate had it quite differently. Her first step towards the modeling industry occurred in 1985. It was then that the whole family flew to France on vacation. In one of the magazines Girl noticed an ad that the modeling agency Elite Model Management has a contest. Karen herself was too shy to take part in it, so her friends took the initiative and sent her photo to the heads of the agency. A modeling career at first she worked with small companies and little-known brands. Her picture appeared on the pages of catalogs and rarely in fashion glossies. Only in 1990 she was lucky enough to catwalk for the first time on the catwalk of the legendary Giorgio Armani designer. After this cooperation her career began to develop rapidly. She was invited more often to the photo shoots, and the designers finally saw her as a promising prospect. It was the 90s that are considered to be the peak of Karen Mulder's modeling career. The girl signed a lucrative contract with Guess and Max Mara, after which her picture graced the advertising campaigns of both brands. She was also seen in the ads for Calvin Klein underwear. In 1991 Mulder graced the pages of Vogue with Claudia Schiffer, Linda Evangelista, Stephanie Seymour and other supermodels of the time. Photographer Peter Lindbergh did the photo shoot in black and white. In 1992, the model signed her first contract with VICTORIA back quote a secret lingerie brand. Her photo adorned the catalogs and advertising campaigns of the brand. At this point for about six years their collaboration was over. However Karen's popularity grew with each contract. That same year she graced the covers of Parisian Vogue, British Elle, Vogue, and Cosmopolitan. The year of 1993 did not differ much from the previous years. The girl was still appearing on the covers of Vogue and Elle as well as collaborating with fashion houses. At the time of 1994, Karen's income was $2 million. In 1995 the model bought a chateau in France for her own money which she decided to use as a shelter for underprivileged families. This was the first large-scale charitable act in the life of Mulder. Besides, 1995 marked the release of the first Barbie doll, which was made by a copy of Karen. After that, she was joined by other supermodels, such as Naomi Campbell and Claudia Schiffer. The following year, the girl once again appeared on the cover of Elle. This time she had to try on an outfit designed by Gianni Versace himself for a successful photo. Besides, 1996 was marked by the release of an informative video by Karen Mulder. The model shared the secrets of her beauty with all the girls. She told how to keep her body in great shape, which vitamins and masks will help to maintain the beauty of face and hair, and told about makeup and hairstyles. In 1997 she graced the pages of Sports Illustrated for the first time. Apart from photographers, fashion designers did not forget about the supermodel, who regularly invited the beauty to participate in their shows. In 1998 Karen signed a contract with Victoria's Secret again, but this time for a better deal, she became an angel of the brand. From 1998 to 2000 the model paraded at the fabulous Victoria's Secret shows with angel wings. In 2000, Mulder told everyone that she was leaving the modeling business. This news came as a shock to absolutely everyone. At the peak of her career, a successful model who earned per set from $10,000 to $20,000 decided to give up success. The girl herself explained this action by the fact that she wants to live for herself not to be a print on glossy paper. For a while she tried her hand at cinema, starring in a short film theft, One Night. Then she tried to find herself in the musical sphere. Here she stayed a little longer. Mulder recorded a remake of Gloria Gaynor's I Am What I Am 
and in 2004 she presented her own album entitled Karen Mulder. Nevertheless, if a girl received lucrative offers from the modeling industry, she took the job. So, in 2006, she did a series of pictures for the men's calendar of Man 2007. In all 12 months only Karen was portrayed. In the middle of 2007 she defiled, along with other legendary models, at the Christian Dior Haute Couture show. After that, the model switched to charity and a quiet moderate life without the camera flashes. In 1997 she graced the pages of Sports Illustrated for the first time. Apart from photographers, fashion designers did not forget about the supermodel, who regularly invited the beauty to participate in their shows. In 1998 Karen signed a contract with Victoria's Secret again, but this time for a better deal, she became an angel of the brand. From 1998 to 2000 the model paraded at the fabulous Victoria's Secret shows with angel wings. In 2000, Mulder told everyone that she was leaving the modeling business. This news came as a shock to absolutely everyone. At the peak of her career, a successful model who earned per set from $10 to $20,000 decided to give up success. The girl herself explained this action by the fact that she wants to live for herself, not to be a print on glossy paper. For a while she tried her hand at cinema, starring in a short film theft, one night. Then she tried to find herself in the musical sphere. Here she stayed a little longer. Mulder recorded a remake of Gloria Gaynor's I Am What I Am, and in 2004 she presented her own album entitled Karen Mulder. Nevertheless, if a girl received lucrative offers from the modeling industry, she took the job. So, in 2006, she did a series of pictures for the men's calendar of Man 2007. In all 12 months only Karen was portrayed. In the middle of 2007 she defiled, along with other legendary models, at the Christian Dior Haute Couture show. After that, the model switched to charity and a quiet moderate life without the camera flashes. Personal life due to her beautiful appearance, Karen has always enjoyed increased attention from men. However, due to her complicated character, she had only a few serious relationships. In 1998, the model tied the bonds of marriage with the photographer René Bosnay. Unfortunately, after only five years, they were officially divorced. In addition, the girl had a serious relationship with Jean-Yves Le Fure. In 2006, she became a mother for the first time, giving birth to her daughter Anna. The woman never mentioned the father of the child. It is also worth noting that Karen Mulder is fluent in six languages, her native Dutch, as well as English, Italian, French, Greek, and German. Despite her scandalous past, she now leads a healthy lifestyle, exercises and eats right.